I'm here in the mountain town of Brevard where they love their animals, but one particular animal stands out the most, especially our white squirrels. White Squirrel Day. I mean, we're both wearing white squirrel t-shirts. A white squirrel. A white squirrel. It's a white squirrel. It's a white squirrel day. There's a white squirrel. Quote, Groundhog Day, unquote, will forever and hereafter be recognized and honored in the city of Brevard as White Squirrel Day. I'm Eleanor Spicer Rice, and this is our state's North Carolina, naturally. The story goes that in Brevard in the mid-1900s, a girl named Barbara Ann Mull had a pair of white squirrels that her uncle had given her. After Barbara moved away, one squirrel escaped and her grandfather released the other. Lo and behold, they started mingling with the local population and it, the colony started to grow. Once freed, they settled down with their wild gray tree mates. Their progeny still skitter among the trees in Brevard. Okay, here around us, we just basically have the grays or the whites. Um, you know, you have the black squirrels, but they're not in our area. Um, the difference between a gray squirrel and a white squirrel, ours are leucistic, um, meaning they have a lack of pigmentation. They're not albinos, and their behavior's the same. White squirrels, to show you that they do have the same behavior as a gray squirrel, you know how a gray squirrel, when you scare it, it runs up a tree and it'll just flatten itself on the tree? Mm -hmm. White squirrels do the same thing. They so, think they're blending in. Right, they think they're <laughs> blending in, yes. But it is just an eastern gray, a variation. Sherry Blythe is a wildlife rehabilitator and keeper of one of Brevard's most famous residents. Fisca Piper, when she was a baby, something happened to mom. Um, and she fell, and so she has a head injury which causes her to be blind. She is blind in both eyes. Um, she's about three years old. Um, that's really about that's she her has history. The prettiest tail in North well, Carolina. Her tail is not as fluffy as <gasps> some. Don't listen, Pisca Piper. <laughs> you have a she's very at me fluffy like tail. Yeah. <laughs> Today, Brevard's famous white squirrels may have the wow factor, but look closely at the squirrels around you wherever you are. North Carolina accommodates a rainbow of eastern gray squirrels. Whether they beguile us or vex us, eastern gray squirrels and their colors can teach us a lot about our world. You celebrate your squirrels a lot here in Brevard. Can you tell us about like, a few of your squirrel celebrations? We celebrate White Squirrel Day in Brevard, not Groundhog Day. Pisca Piper, she predicts whether it's gonna be an early spring or uh, a, a late winter, and she also picks the Super Bowl winner. There you go, Pisca Piper picks the Philadelphia Eagles to win the Super Bowl, and we'll see what happens there. I mean, I love that it's sort of the town mascot almost, and that we have so much fun with it, I guess. You know, we have the festival, we have the White Squirrel Day. It's a big thing for Brevard, and I love that we take it Living so seriously. <laughs> Living in town also with all the white squirrels, it makes it a lot harder to really secure your bird feeders, because you kind of want to bring them to the yard. It's so fun, it's rewarding when you see them out back, you think, I did it. <laughs> I'm a Brevardian now. <laughs> As anyone devoted to baffling them at the bird feeder knows, squirrels are highly intelligent. They sense danger from taloned birds that snatch them from above to other animals that yank them from below and communicate to help each other survive the perils of daily life. They can send secret messages to each other with their tails, but squirrels also have a spoken language. A moan means a predator lurks in the skies. A cup and quaw warns of something possibly lurking below. Fortunately, squirrels are born with their first line of defense, camouflage. Right now, high in the trees, baby squirrels twist and squirm in their nests, naked save for a light dusting of fur. They will grow. Their fur will fluff out to reveal a landscape of their own world and ours. Can you tell us a little bit about why squirrels are good for uh, our habitat? Yes, because most of our forests are due to squirrels. You take like oak trees, these are buried, yeah. buried nuts, mm -hmm. and acorns and stuff that they forget about. Mm -hmm. And that's how our forests grow. And they a lot literally of spend all day 
planting seeds. Planting seeds, yes ma'am. Even though they're common, I think a lot of times we take for granted the things that we see every day. Mm -hmm. But if you came from a different country that didn't have, if you showed up here from Australia mm -hmm. and you saw a squirrel, that'd be like the craziest thing that you've ever seen. Because you've never seen them. Yeah. What would happen if we all started paying attention to this great, wonderful world around us? What will we find? Before you got involved professionally with white squirrels, do you think because you have these unusual squirrels in your yard, you started paying more attention to squirrels than you would have before? Absolutely. I never paid a cut. That, because the Eastern Greys, they kind of blend in. They're all over the place. They're chatty. But with, I, I sit in my backyard and I look at the white squirrels and I have three whites and two greys. And they just play all day. I, I say play. They're looking for food probably. And they're just, they scamper all over. And it's just a magical experience to see them. And when you talk to people who do see them, it's the same reaction. It's just something that's so unusual. Um, it doesn't belong but you can't stop looking at them. Um, and it just, it, it, it's, it's being involved with nature and seeing something that's very different and a way of uh, communing with it. When you care for something, the world becomes more vibrant that way. I mean, I think people just really see them as something to be sort of, you know, proud of and, and emblemized. Yeah, charmed by <laughs> is a good word. Just charming. <laughs>